Welcome back. You know, no matter how long you live in a town, you can still be surprised at what your neighbors have done. Some folks out in 21 Country made a surprising discovery right in their own family history. Eric Olson paid a visit. When Wilbur and Orville Wright flew their invention at Kitty Hawk, the brothers became the world's first two airplane pilots. The world's third airplane pilot no one's ever heard of. I think he was a very fearless man to do what he did. It just keeps getting more interesting as we delve into it. What Marianne and Darcy Quinn are delving into is the life of Marianne's great uncle, Walter Brookins, and he was fearless. Brookins grew up in Dayton, Ohio, next door to the Wright brothers. He hung out at their bicycle shop, watched them build their airplane. And when he grew up, Orville Wright taught him to fly. Brookins would set many aviation records. He was the first to fly an airplane a mile high. It took him an hour to get there. He set airspeed records, long distance flying records, made the first night flight. But before all that, he helped the Wright brothers demonstrate their invention to crowds around the country. He did the demonstrations for them all over the place, trying to show everybody that aviation was safe. He instructed lots of our early air pilots. So he wanted more than just the ability to fly himself and be of service. He wanted to expand aviation. The Quins would like the world to know about their fearless uncle's exploits, including his service as one of America's first airmail pilots. On this day, they're sharing Brookins' story with Bob Worley, former chief pilot for Howard Hughes. Worley is heading up an effort to create a national airmail museum and education center in historic Hangar No. 2 at Fort Wayne Smith Field, a stop-off point for America's airmail pilots a hundred years ago, and the perfect home, the Quins say, to house their uncle's historic story. This is the most unique collection of uh, material that will be ideal for the museum to tell the story. That's what the museum is all about. It isn't looking at dusty old airplanes. Walter Brookins counted many legendary pilots as personal friends, Jimmy Doolittle, Hap Arnold, and this is his autographed photo of Wilbur Wright. To my friend Walter, it reads. When the National Airmail Museum is built, Walter Brookins' story will be there for all of us to read a little-known history of a true American hero who cut a path through the sky, clearing the way for all the glory that would follow. Eric Olson reporting for 21 Country.